whenever you do get to the top of a project, success is kind of short-lived, you know, it's always kind of like on to the next thing. When we get to one level, we realize that, well, we're actually capable of doing much more than that. Sterling is by far the best rope out there. What a rad project. come and ask me like is there any tips you can give me to get better and pretty much what I tell them is just climb as much as possible and enjoy it as much as possible right and then the rest of the stuff kind of takes care of itself as long as you're psyched on what you're doing then things kind of find a way to fall into place you know and so I mean for me that's always been my my theory is just just go for it and try as hard as possible and climb as much as possible and but obviously there's a lot of different different things that make success happen you know it's like you know the right conditions the right finger strength endurance and mental focus and tech i think they all play a, a really important role i've seen some people that are super super strong that should be climbing like 515 or something and they're still climbing 512 in that way you can see climbing is really has this mental side to it that it's really important it's not just about being super strong it's also being able to to focus that and Energy. direct it in in a way that helps us climb, you know, that helps us get to the top. And vice versa, you know, you can, you can be a really smart climber, really good climber, but take it, you're climbing to that next level, you definitely need that, that finger strength and that power and that endurance. So one, that's one of the things that makes climbing just so interesting is that it's just a really well-rounded sport and it, you have to be not only really strong, but you have to be kind of mentally aware and it's really well-rounded in that way. It kind of forces you to be a, uh, an athlete and uh, does have its intellectual side and the mental game and the focus and that's one of the things that makes climbing just so interesting you know I've been climbing almost 20 years and I'm just as excited as ever about it I know people that have been climbing 40 years and they're just as excited and I think it's it's one of those sports that it never gets old and every route we do is totally different and unique and every place we go is totally different and unique so it's pretty cool in that way it's um, if you compare it to like a, a basketball court or something, I'm sure that has its own set of variations and everything, but everywhere you go in the world, the lines are the same. The hoop is at the same height, whereas climbing you can go deep water solo in Mallorca, or you can go crack climbing in Yosemite, or you can go bouldering in Fontainebleau, and everywhere is totally different and unique, and it's kind of totally different experience. So. I think it's just kind of unlimited amount of uh, variations and you know different kind of experiences. True lifestyle, sport, lifelong activity. I don't know if you could even call it a sport really. It's just this activity that we do and happens to be athletic. So, certainly it's very, uh, very fun and, and rewarding, you know, just to be able to, when you see people go on, on trips and doing the, the typical tourist thing and going to the museums and you know, not really knowing what to do when they go on a trip, you know, when, as a climber you go on, on a trip and you have a specific, you know, it's really easy to know what to do. It's like we're going to go here and we're going to go climbing in this one spot and, and through that trip, through that experience, you, see, you have all these experiences meeting different people and kind of these cultural experiences along the way and uh, it's just one more example why climbing is just this really interesting sport and kind of uh, very multifaceted, I guess. Oh, my skin hurts.